Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL latest version that is 16 on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. First, connect to Red Hat machine, verify whether this is Red Hat or not. More slash etc OS hyphen release. See, I am on Red Hat machine. Control L to clear the screen. Now open Firefox. Now go to PostgreSQL.org. This is the official website for PostgreSQL. Now see the message here. 14th September 2023, PostgreSQL 16 is released. We are going to install the same version. Click on download. Now click on Linux. Then click on Red Hat or Rocky or SendWords. The process is same for all three versions. Then click on it. Once we click done, it will populate the version and platform details. First select version. The, see, the latest version is 16. Now select the platform. If you are on Red Hat 7, you have to select this one. If you are going to install on Red Hat 8, you have to select. But I am going to install it on Red Hat 9. Click on this one. Once we select it, see, it populated the comments. Are the scripts to be executed. Then select the architecture. Mine is x86 64. Now, first step that is install RPM. So, copy this command, go to terminal, run the command. Then provide the password for this sudo user. See, it has successfully downloaded RPM. Now, disable the built-in PostgreSQL module. Disable the built-in module. Paste it. Hit enter. It is success. Control L to clear the screen. Next, install the PostgreSQL 16 version. Copy this command, then paste here. Don't hit enter. If you want to install 15, just replace the 6 with 5. If you want to install 14, replace 5 with 4. But I am going to install PostgreSQL 16. Then hit enter. See, installation is success. Now, next step is we have to go to this bin directory or simply copy this command and initiate the database. Copy that command, control L to clear the screen, paste it, hit enter, control C, give the sudo, hit enter. See, he has successfully initialized the database. Now verify whether this PostgreSQL server service is started. We are running the sudo system ctl status PostgreSQL hyphen 16. See, it is loaded, but it is not started. Also, see here it is disabled. Now we are going to enable this one. If you enable, whenever the Linux machine reboots, then PostgreSQL service also restarted automatically. So command is sudo system ctl enable PostgreSQL hyphen 16. Hit enter. It has created symlink. Now run the same status command. 
see now it is changed to enabled now start the postgres sql service sudo system ctl ctl start postgres sql hyphen 16 it enter it is started now verify whether it is started or not status postgres sql 16 see service is active and running it started 12 seconds ago and these are the list of the processes q2 quit control l to clear the screen order the commands i am executing in this video are available in the video description now, now let's connect to postgres sql server sudo su then hyphen space postgres then give the psql psql is the command line utility to connect to postgres sql server slash l to find out the list of the databases see now see i have these three databases those are the default databases comes with postgres sql server and this is the one name and these are the encoding let's create a database create database then database name. i'm giving database name as r schools we have successfully created database let's verify again see new database has been added the same way you want to see list of the users you have to give slash du whatever the command starts with forward slash those commands are called as meta commands it enter at present i have only one user next the most important step is we have to set the password for this user that is the super user alter user postgres then with password admin anything we have successfully set the password for this postgres that is the super user let's create a user a user uh, to admin with password admin at one now verify the list of the users slash du see the user user doesn't have any roles but postgres is but postgres user is having all the privileges in this postgres sql cluster slash l is the command to check the list of the databases if you want to connect to this database slash c and provide the database r2 schools see the message here you now you are connected to this database control l to clear the screen now verify the list of the tables by using slash data. See, at present, I don't have any relations. So, create a table. Test123, S number, int, S name, varchar, 10. Now verify tables slash data. See, we have one table. If you want to get the information, about this table slash d plus table name see we got the column details it's a data types and collation and other default and other values other attributes of this table let's fit a special by using forward slash and q and hit it come out but again exit from this postgres user now we will see how to stop the postgres sql server sudo system ctl stop postgres sql hyphen 16 now try to connect to postgres sql server sudo su hyphen postgres psq c is saying error cannot connect to the server okay now start it and try with this Postgres users, we cannot start. Let's verify. Let's try it. System CTL start Postgres SQL 16. If this user is sudo user, then only we can start. So, control L, exit. Now, I am with sudo user. Now, sudo system CTL start Postgres SQL hyphen version. We have successfully started. Let's try to connect again.
see now we are able to connect slash q to quit next we are going to restart the postgres sql service sudo system ctl restart is the command then postgres sql it is the service hit enter i forgot to exit exit and run the same command that is this one. you have successfully restarted let's verify the status just replace this restart with status see we have restarted 12 seconds here. so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgresql server version 16 of red hat enterprise linux or rh okay then we have seen how to connect to postgresql server then we have seen how to create a database on a user on postgresql 16 version then we have seen how to start stop and restart the postgresql server for more postgresql server tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you